It's finally here. The wait is over. I've begged for this for so many years. T-Man 978 Chill Review If you haven't pre-ordered this figure set right here, push pause. Go to Hasbro Pulse. See if the pre-orders are still available because they did do a second run. Maybe they'll even do a third run. Do it. Get on the wait list. This is an experience right here. You see all that? This is the first figure in the G.I. Joe 6-inch classified series. Ugh. I haven't weighed this. Let me weigh it. This case right here without snake eyes in it is 2.9 ounces. With him in it, it's 2.9. 12 ounces, almost three pounds. Now you see all this. It is freaking awesome. This thing is so heavy and it feels so substantial. And that's just the slip cover right there. On here, like man, that finish. This feels so premium for freaking 40 bucks. Like I kept having to remind myself why I had to look at the receipt again and be like, oh, wait, this pre-order was only 40 bucks. Like if this was 60 bucks and I'm not trying to tell them raise the price. Thank you, Hasbro, for this. Like, holy crap. I don't even know if Hot Toys boxes are as heavy and substantial feeling as this. But basically, we need to slide this off. And that is very thick and on the inside is black it's not just plain ass cardboard like <laughs> like they would normally do then you get this premium printout and like this isn't like regular copy paper it's premium then on the inside normally you would have snake eyes in there but as you saw a little bit earlier I took them out of there let me show you the packaging but still black in there styrofoam all that then you get this special snake eyes box there is no barcode as you see and this is number double zero so this is the definitely the preview copy so we have this artwork right here on the back showing some of the cobra and some of gi joe the gi joe vehicles down there but i know y'all seen this and if you haven't you can see this in color doing a google search gi joe classified to get this out of the way quickly here is his weapons rack right there very nicely detailed you can see like some images in between the the light brown color right there you can see that sculpting here I, I just got a little bit closer and i bet you this japanese text right there actually says what these weapons are hopefully there are no instructions so pay attention to how i have the size placed but the way they're in the foam, that is how I placed them on here. So you can see this whole rack with the weapons on it is 4.7 ounces. It is very substantial. The rack is, it's very heavy. And that weighs more than a deluxe class. A $20 deluxe class transformer weighs less than that. You know, look at these little wolves on the side. They are three-dimensional. I guess that represents timber, since you don't get timber. And look at this right here. So, whatever this is meant to represent, it represents it well. Unfortunately, this is the side you would want to show the weapons. They do have all the legal Hasbro text right there, so I guess this is technically the back. Take a look at these weapons up close, so I don't have to do that later on. Pay attention because I'll probably have him holding these weapons randomly throughout the review. This Snake Eyes is the living, the living embodiment of everything I've been begging for when it comes to Marvel Legends for the past at least four years. I was like, if Hasbro wanted to beat the premium people like Bandai and whatnot, 
SH figure arts, all they have to do is give the figures a little bit more articulation, throw some accessories in there, and, and they could charge like five more dollars and people would forget uh, like SH figure arts and whatnot exist. But here it is, finally, and it's on the line I've been also begging for for years, G.I. Joe and Six Inch. So yeah, I'm happy. Let's get to it. First off, unlike the homage to his original figure where it was just pure black and they give me it all in weapons pure black they didn't do that with his actual body and whatnot so he does have on like military color like stealth dark pants right here that have all the wrinkles and whatnot in there they're brown everything you see right here like these belts and whatnot the belts are the same color but what i was going to get into is they are a pliable material that it's separate even the belt, what is a Rashikage symbol right there. Silver is probably hard to see due to my lightings, but they do have a bunch of this gun metal right there. Gun metal on the belts. They painted his backpack zippers right there, the straps and whatnot. You see that on his sword holster. It has the Arasakage symbol right there. And on this side right here. But here you are, it does have a hole right there. The grenades are black. He has a symbol right there. Not on his arm anywhere. Normally it will be like on his shoulder, I believe. But they went ahead and painted the knuckles. These pouches are separate and movable. This piece right here, even though you shouldn't take it off, it is a separate piece. So that's cool. Like it's part of the collar right there. And the pants right here. This is actually a separate pliable piece over the hard crotch area that's underneath. So that's nice. Like I realized that when I was trying to articulate that it was, it was pliable right there to get out of the way. So they went all out with this guy. Here's a gun. Very reminiscent of the gun, the... 25th anniversary snake eyes came with I wonder if this is the same one that the original figure came with more than likely the hands are like permanently in this kung fu grip look which is cool both of these hands do the roll of the dice like that if I have any issue this one swings a little bit looser than I would like not as loose as my friend parts former who and here's how long the peg is his is super deep release but you have this optional hand right here and that's decent with the replacement hand you can have them in a pose like this this one permanently has a throwing star in that hand and this one actually has like it's not just flat it actually has like those climbing things right there the stabbing stuff i don't know what it's actually called but it would have been nice being greedy if they had two of these hands, I guess, so he can scale walls and whatnot. And it's cool that he came with this already in the hand, so you don't have to worry about losing it. So they got this idea from their, like, their Overwatch figures. Backpack, of course, removable. Looks like that. But you have to overlap this to make that go through. And if you want, you can stick the sword scabbard through both of those there we go only thing about putting anything either one of these in that is it makes the grenade belt lift up a little bit but look at that detail while i'm showing you but anyhow let's get into this freaking articulation and i do have some more accessories to show off but anyhow the head is on a ball hinge so it can look up and look down but and look at that stitching right there extra the bottom of the neck is on a ball so you can rotate this all around and whatnot bring it down more bring it up more and rotate and tilt to your heart's content like that is one complaint i had with the power rangers lightning collection figures i was like they look their posability is awesome but them having a stiff base of the neck 
and just being able to use the ball hinge kind of made posing him a little bit difficult and they will always look down but this guy if you have him tilted like this you can rotate the neck or pivot the neck in such a way so you can have a whole bunch of natural looking poses and to be honest with you this kind of works better than some sh figure arts let me be honest a ton a ton of sh figure arts cannot look up that high so and this is flexible pliable material right there so it gets out of the way that's awesome shoulders go out soft ratchet rotates the butterfly joint it goes back that much and can come forward that much so you can rotate the arm in and bring it around in front of the chest like at least that much it doesn't like rotate up or anything in that socket bicep swivel double jointed elbows these hands go in and out unlike the other hands of course they rotate you have a great ab crunch that goes back a lot comes forward a lot and then on top of that there is a ball joint at the base going up into the body so you can rotate side to side go back without the ab crunch come forward and get into some more dynamic poses and whatnot love it the freaking hips drop down hips they go out completely you could drop it down and kick it up more than freaking 90 degrees thigh rotation double jointed knees boot swivel on top of everything and the foot goes all the way back comes forward a lot of course ankle pivot he has peg holes at the bottom of the feet and let's let you see the foot detail right there he has the toes and the boot awesome these are the guns you have this gun right here with an optional silencer that's the same color as the brown parts of his uniform so there you are right there that's not really deep enough to put anything. I was able to get a siege effect on there, but it's loose. It doesn't really attach. Then last accessory, he comes with this knife right here, which I like to put in the hand upside down like that. So you can get into some cool poses and whatnot. And I'll let you see this sort up close here's the handle on that pulls out looks very similar to the one no the handle no it's it's not similar to nothing over here these two swords are different so this is one of those rare occasions where i i barely don't i have barely anything to complain about from the packaging presentation which was already just a treat off top this the whole thing was an experience all the accessories he comes with. And then the posability on top of that. Can't really complain. Getting the head off was only a tiny taste difficult. But well, let's see if we can get another head on here. Eh. There we go. The neck is a little long. <laughs> That's what typically always happens. And that was quantum seat. Hawkeye. Yeah, running theme. I tried to put um this head on there. Tom Island and I believe this is Worthy Cap right here. Couldn't get either one of them on there. This is actually kind of least on there. And this is, I guess, a Bucky Cap head. Which this is another one. Forge. So, yeah, the, the ball seems to hit, sit a little bit high with these heads. And I guess that's the only problem as far as the bucky cap head. So yeah, you can see the post sits up a little bit, whereas on these bucky cap bodies, the ball is pretty much touching the neck. Size comparison, here he is with the Lightning Collection White Ranger, Mighty Morphin White Ranger. Jazz wears Havoc right there. Ooh. Could definitely fit in with him. 
Here's my Overwatch Ultimate Skinji and the Marvel Legends Black Widow Taskmaster right there from the MCU. Well, the MCU version anyway. Here he is with my Mezco Spider-Man and my TB League random dude. McFarlane Peely and Storm Collectible Scorpion. <laughs> the only way this would scale right is if that Shao Kahn dressed as Scorpion. If you're still watching, don't forget to push the like button. I already said how I feel about this guy. Thank you for watching up to this point. Buy him. Bruh. He's awesome. I love it. Thank you guys, bro. Until next time, T-Man978, out of here. Thank you for watching. Click that shit.